Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting, and in this video, we're going to talk about, boom, automation with backing tracks via timecode. So in the last video, um, about a week ago, we went over using backing tracks and triggering uh, various pieces of lighting software via MIDI, via OSC, etc. Um, but you can also trigger things. Um, and we also, we actually had the great video with we three as well. Um, and check that out here about using light key with MIDI to have a completely live show triggered out of Ableton. Okay. And all these are valid approaches, but sometimes you want to run a show live on time code. What's time code? Great question. Um, so what time code is, and I'm just opening up some apps here, um, is time code allows you to basically play a audio or video file okay so you play that audio or video file and as you're playing that it's generating time okay how is it generating this time what what does that look like well there's a couple different common formats of time code um the most popular ones that we see in our world are SMPTE, which is like the S society of motion picture entertainers time code and that is generally what we call linear time code meaning that it's some bleeps and bloops um, over actual analog audio that you can use to trigger time code now the benefit to this is that um, it's analog audio and so you can send it super long distances without a problem um, and things are just going to be fine and dandy uh, devices don't have to be networked together, etc. But on the downside, you have to make sure you get the audio level right. You have to make sure you have the right interfaces on both ends that can clock it correctly. And you've got to be good to go. Now, if you're in that camp, you know, doing a larger show often, LTC linear time code makes a lot of sense. Okay. There's also MIDI time code and that happens through MIDI can be sent over networks, etc. And so generally, if you're on a PC or something like that, smaller show, you may do that for running a track and syncing time code with it. Now, the benefits of time code are that it's down to the frame. So there's 30 frames in a second um, of data. And so your lighting triggers are going to be right on. Also, um, you have the benefit of being able to make sure everything is just triggered exactly and you get to build out of one cue list typically at least in onyx where i'll show a quick demo here um that's how it's going to work okay and so just as an example um i've got a file here that i'd imported from capture the other day into onyx and if I were going ahead to build timecode today, I have another video about using uh, this other app, Time Lord, in order to send timecode over to Onyx. So we'll link that here. I hope I have enough YouTube cards or else catch it below. Um, but when we're working at least in Onyx with timecode, um, it's going to look a little bit different layout wise than how we covered um, streaming a live show with Lightkey with We3 in the last video. And the reason why it looks different is instead of having different individual cues, like in Onyx, for example, they would have used the playback buttons here and some faders. If they were doing it in Onyx, they'd use light key. Um, but if you were using Onyx, the way that time code works, just to walk you through, is you have basically different cue lists that you want to use. So say, for example, we just grab a couple lights here and we're just starting to fly. We just take them to full. We put them at a position, we give them a color, we record that as our first cue. It's a time code cue list. Okay. Once we've made something into a time code cue list, the first thing to do in Onyx and the way we like to work with it, and again, I'm not covering the nuts and bolts of connecting the time code and playing it because I've done that in that previous video as well as inside of Learn Stage Lighting Labs. Um, but if we're in Onyx here and we've got time code, then what we're going to do is it's really simple if we're thinking about laying this out is we just want to think and complete songs so i might go ahead and build a number of cues for this song right maybe there's five maybe there's 500 doesn't matter we'll end on blue again and then i'm gonna go ahead and build my next cue list here 
which will be my next song so that I can rearrange them. And what I want to do, just kind of some best practices here as we're talking about time code, are, and this is specific to Onyx, but, you know, it, it would work for other consoles as well. Um, and with the consoles I cover, by the way, only Onyx, only at the professional grade, do you have the ability to do time code. Um, so if I clear, what I want to do between these two cue lists is a couple things. Uh, the very first thing is that in Onyx with timecode, if I go over here to cue list values, uh, with timecode, um, you set the triggers in here, which I'm not going to do right now, but the first cue needs to be manually triggered, okay, so that it's running, you get that in there before you start timecode values, um, and then that essentially activates the cue list, it has it listening to timecode as long as this uh, TC follow button is engaged, okay. So with that, you're listening in on time code at that point, okay? So what do you do at the end of the song? Well, you make a cue at the end. It could be blank. Um, it could have something in it. doesn't matter. Where you end the song, and then you want to actually go in here and add a macro to go to your next song, okay? That's the way I like to do it. So that you would just trigger cue list 2, cue 1, which would over on, on cue list 2 here would be my blank cue that starts that cue list, okay? And then I hit apply. And so now, when I hit, excuse me, when I hit the end of this cue list, we should see the next one go ahead and arm. And then we should be good to go, okay? And so that should be working. I, I definitely have done that before, but anywho. Um, and so, that's kind of the basics of, of how we set this up. It could be that it's time code, and, and so it's a... Uh, or did I put the wrong one in there? No. Oh, well, either way. Um, so when we're working with time code, especially in Onyx, this is how we're going to think about it. We want to make sure that we're firing our cue lists um, that have the time code in them and not firing the cue lists that don't. And then what I like to do, as long as the tracks are not that long, um, go ahead and set up in time code so that each track starts at a different hour or a different 10 minutes even, um, so that you don't have the same time code for any two tracks. Again, if you set this up well so that you stop and start your cue list via macros um, as you're going, then you shouldn't have two time code cue lists running at once anyways. Um, for more than like a queue, but um, just as a double check, it's always just a really good idea to make sure that um, they're in different time code ranges for the different songs so that if the wrong queue list was accidentally on uh, during a different song, it wouldn't accidentally get fired. So Hopefully that helps kind of clear some things up about time code. I know it can be a confusing topic, uh, which is why we talk about it more here and as well as in Learn Stage Lighting Labs. Uh, if you're new to lighting and you're like, this is all just over my head, uh, one thing I would love to get into your hands is my guide to laying out your lighting console. Um, it's just what I do when I'm first launching a lighting console and I'm getting ready to program cues, uh, whether it be a simple lighting console or something like Onyx here, which is very complex. This, these are the things that I do to get started, and it's yours free. Just grab the guide, enter your email. You'll get it here. Um, you can check it out at this link. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, it's been a lot of fun to talk to you guys so far, and, and be sure to come back in the next video because we're going to talk about how to automate lighting without backing tracks. Is that even possible? We'll find out. We'll see you there. Thanks.